picture the scene. We go to Amsterdam as a group, 20 odd lads. Well, we end up walking around the red light area. Young lad being 19 or something like that. There's about six or seven of us looking at looking in the windows oh, wow. in, in glee, <laughs> I would say. And we see Mr. Clough and Mr. Taylor in the doorway chatting to one of the ladies. Bear in mind, this is a semi-final. The game's on the Wednesday, this is on the Monday. So he says after about 10 minutes, uh, lads here, so I've just negotiated a price for you all and the club's paying. <laughs> so you can imagine young lads were shooting out all over the place. Needless to say, we won the semi-final and we got to the finals. So it had the desired effect. I must reiterate that uh, it was younger lads, not the married ones. Any Foy's fans remember we played Wolves in the uh, League Cup final it was then. But the night before we have a room in the Royal Lancaster in London, about half past nine we get a call saying the manager wants us back down. So everybody come down, we've got Archie Gemmels, we've got all the experienced players going, what is this? You know, I want to prepare for the game tomorrow. Next thing the door burst open and there's a crate of champagne and there's a crate of orange juice. We go, what's this? And Mr Clough says, listen, nobody leaves this room until they tell a joke that I like. So we go, what? Anyway, we do what the manager says, and I left that room at quarter past 12 and woke up the next day with Ed Ake, and we have to play the cup final. We lose 1-0. I think deep down, I think it was Mr Clough's way of relaxing the players, but it backfired that day. We played Celtic in the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup. Celtic had never been beaten in a European tie and all the Celtic supporters are saying you've got no chance. The fly to Glasgow, this is the Monday, the game's on the Wednesday. Next morning he said uh, everybody down, 10 o'clock, uh, get on the bus and we end up in this marina. No balls, no goals, marina. And we go in this bar area, he said uh, bars there, table tennis, darts, we'll pick you up at 6 o'clock. By the time he picks us up at 6 o'clock, we were all absolutely like that. Next morning, he said, everybody down, 10 o'clock, with the kit on. And I said, being one of the senior ones, I said, boss, we haven't trained since, uh, since Saturday. He says, yes, yeah, that's a good thought, that. See that bunker over there, which is about 50 yards away? He says, everybody run to that bunker. <laughs> we run to the bunker, run back, thinking he's going to say, run to another bunker. He said, no, get in your beds. So we're out there, literally. 10 minutes, uh, go in our beds, play the game at night and beat Celtic 2-1 and go through in the tie. It didn't work against Wolves, but it did work against Celtic.